Chica Resch. You are listening to the Let's Go Devils podcast on the Primetime Radio Network. Happy Devils Friday. Welcome to Game Day Live presented by the Let's Go Devils podcast network and the Primetime Radio Studios along with Ann Crew Brew. My name is Vinny Breezy and I am here with Short Sky. We are happy to get you set for New Jersey Devils hockey as they take on the Buffalo Sabres. Welcome to all fans watching on YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Twitter Live, and Twitch. The New Jersey Devils are looking for a huge win over the Buffalo Sabres and Shorts Guy. How we doing? Doing good, Vinny. Uh, you know, it's Friday. It's a long weekend. My spring break starts uh, now as of today. And uh, I get to jet off to uh to london on monday and get to see uh good friends at a podcast uh justin and jake over there in london so it's gonna be a good time but we got to get through this game against the buffalo sabers first how are you doing today very very good i'm excited that's gonna be a very fun trip for you you're gonna be having a ball over there in london before you get there though short sky we got some business to take care of we've said it once important business we've said it twice if the Devils win this game, they're three points out of oh my God, I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of talking about this. I mean, I'm I am, but I'm not. I, I you know, it's it's every every freaking show. It's like, oh, we're right there, we're right there, and then we take a step back. It's like two steps forward, one step back. But you know, here's hoping that that tonight they they take care of their business against um, Buffalo, uh, of which. I actually know a legitimate Buffalo Sabres fan. Wow. Uh, which I, f- I feel like they're rare outside of the Buffalo area, but um, I wish nothing but ill will on his team tonight because we we need these two points, Vin. We need them bad. 100%. 100%. You, you agree with me in saying you'd rather this than be just complete junk? Yes. Yes. As much as the hope is kind of uh, – Annoying at times, and I, I, I say that, you know, I'm probably going to get flack for saying that, or Sam might get flack for me saying that because that's usually what happens. We say something, and Sam catches all the, uh, all the flack for it. But that's why we continue yeah, I, to say it, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I, I, I still, I'd rather be the New Jersey Devils right now than the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, Although I would the even Blackhawks rather be New Jersey. Like, I was going to say the Blackhawks will once again be bestowed the first overall pick by the league. So anyway, you can, can you can yeah. I mean, inside. if Celebrini and Bedard are on the same team, that would be just crazy sauce. But I'd rather be the Devils than even like Buffalo right now. Mm-hmm. So I, I I never wavered from the fact that I believe that the Devils are they have a very bright future. I believe this because oh, they, they have Nico Heischer in place. They have Jack Hughes in place. They're on team-friendly deals. Timo Myers, a real talented player, as is Jesper Bratt, Luke Hughes, Dougie Hamilton will come back and be a pretty good player. Um, I always believed if they could be healthy and get good goaltending, they could beat any team in the league and go on a legitimate run. I feel that way right now. Mm-hmm. I'm a little worried it's too little too late. We'll see how these last couple weeks go. But a huge win tonight over the Buffalo Sabres would go a long way. Three points is not insurmountable. Even though the Devils don't technically control their own destiny, I do think they control their own destiny because not every team ahead of them isn't going to win every single game. So if the Devils win yes. close to every single game, uh, that is technically controlling your own destiny, in my opinion, just, just based on the fact that other teams are going to also lose games. Yeah, and and all the Devils can do right now is win. Just win the games that they have, and then whatever is going to be is going to be. And I was talking to, uh, to to Max about this the other day. He he sent me the rundown of the teams that we needed to win and lose um, the other day, and the the freaking Islanders beat what they they beat the Panthers or the something like that. The the Islanders freaking won when when we needed them to lose. So. The best thing the Devils can do is win the games that they are in and then just hope the rest of the chips fall in our favor. Because if, if we win what we have to win and we do what we need to do, then at least we can say that, that the Devils have, have, have done their part. Um, but I just I, – I've said this before and I'll say it again. I just have this feeling it's going to come down to that April 15th game against the Islanders. It's just it's, – it's looking like – 
we're pushing towards that being what's going to determine our playoff run. And then if we make the playoffs, I really hope like hell that we show up for the playoffs. I, I agree with you. I, I'm not going to say they're exactly like Florida from last year. I don't think Florida needed five points made up in the last, you know, week and a half of the season, two weeks of the season, but it would probably mm-hmm. wasn't too far off. Um, and it'll be three points by the end of the night. If the devils are able to win, um, people are talking Philly. I, I get it. You could get third in the Metro cause there'll be, I believe four points out at, if they win tonight. Um, but I, I'm more looking at the wild card too. I think it's just as I'm the just, same. I'm just assuming wild card at this point. I'm just, I'm going for the lowest hanging of the fruit and that's that second wild card spot. But yeah, so right now we are, uh, we have 76, Philly has 82. So what's that? Six points out of that third Metro. But low hanging fruit to me is that, is that second wild card spot because that, that first, I think that first is going to be a little bit unattainable with, with Tampa yes. fighting it out for Toronto. Yes. It, that's, that's that, that first wild card spot is Tampa, Toronto, Toronto, Tampa. Yeah. Um, I agree and with I did, that. <clears throat> I did see after the fact we were, we were mentioning Tampa and Schwim the other day on game day live. And he was posting on the Facebook group that he's always mad at his team. And it's true. I've seen it. Um, it's quite the sight to behold, but that's that low hanging fruit of that second of that second wild card spot. Just just get in, just get in, and then and then, yeah. I know you didn't want to make the comparison to Florida from last year, but all you got to do is get in, and then it's it's a sixteen team tournament from there on out. And you're just hoping like hell that your team gets hot at the right time, that your injuries, you know, we make it to the playoffs, and then watch, you know, if if Dougie Hamilton is is healthy again, Jake Allen continues to play the way he's play, been playing. Like you just you you don't know. You just don't know. You really don't. Um, that's a big key. Um, if they if they keep playing the way they've been playing, they can get in. I mean, they've won four of their last five. And if they get in, mm-hmm. that means they were one of the hottest teams in the league at the right time. So you go into yes. that first round series and you have no pressure against it would probably either be – if they're the second wild card, they probably would be the New York Rangers, which is just – odd to think about it could be the new york Rangers. i know that's the last thing that i want um is it bad though just, that like i just i think it's win like you made the playoffs nobody thought you were going to and you've proven you could beat them already in the playoffs right like i don't know i think i'd rather yeah. them than like the Bruins or the panthers the only the only problem with that with that hypothetical series is like we saw last year the emotional letdown for whoever wins yeah that's that's the thing. It, unless unless the the devil staff says, "Hey, remember we had a letdown. Let's get through this, and then and then you know they use it as a building block." But we have to get there first. We have to beat the we have to beat the Sabers tonight, even if we're going to get to that hypothetical series against the Rangers. Yep. Yep. And getting that win tonight again can't say it enough. They would be three points behind the wild card, four behind the mm-hmm. Flyers in the Metropolitan Division. All of these things are absolutely possible. I am looking to a guy like Nico Heischer to have just a huge game against the Buffalo Sabres tonight. If there's one guy that I'm putting all mm-hmm. my chips in, believing they will be a guy who could get this team to where they need to be tonight, it's the captain. Yeah, I, the the captain's the heart of this team, and I think he bleeds this, you know, red red and black just like we do. You know, he's he's embraced the he's embraced the team, he's embraced the history, he's embraced the state. And I think he wants to bring a, a championship to this uh, to us, you know, as soon as as soon as possible. But yeah, I, I would say that he needs to he needs to step up and be the leader and be like, listen, guys, we're going to the playoffs. Not maybe let's let's try to make no, we're going to the playoffs. And I, I agree, he's got to be that player to step up tonight and be like, nope, this is this is what we're doing and going going for it. Hundred percent. Um, another guy you look to, I mean, both of you brothers took maintenance days yesterday. Um, mm-hmm. You like to see those two guys show up. Timo Meyer has been real hot lately. Um, is there anybody besides the captain that you're looking to, to be like, guys, this is a must win game. You guys are paid a lot of money. You have an opportunity here to do something special. It starts tonight. Who are you looking at? So two players. One's gonna be obvious. One, one, one maybe not so obvious. Um, Jesper Bratt, 
would be the obvious one. Just to step up, be like, all right, let's go. You know, I signed this big deal and let's let's go. And then the not so obvious one that I think that would step up and say something like that in the locker room, Curtis Lazar. I think Curtis it was Lazar predicted in the chat you'd say that. <laughs> was it really? Someone said I totally get get the Lazar. <laughs> yeah, no, I so I I 100% believe that he is that character player that you need in a situation like this. Um, you know, he uh you know, he's I think he's that he's he's one of those heart guys that will um, you know, play what he's what he's asked to play. But if you say, "Hey Curtis, listen, we for us to win tonight, you need to throw yourself through that wall over there," and he would find a way to throw himself through the wall. Uh, and that's that's why I do love him on this team. And I, I I feel like that both him and he had a big game against Toronto. So I I feel like both him and and uh, Brat would be your, your your two players to uh, to really kind of step it up tonight. A lot of discourse about Andre Palat in the chat. He's a guy oh, who you would, would think nice. might need to step up too. Won a couple cups, <clears throat> He's... played big in minutes in the playoffs. I mean, Andre mm-hmm. Palat was signed for moments like this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, he was definitely signed for moments like this. And that's that's another good one. Andre Palat is another one that we can say, okay, well, you know, he's a guy that's got to step up and do it because he's been there before. He's done it before. He did it with Shrimps Tampa. And if he can do it with, you know, with, with us in Jersey, I think that would be awesome. And he's another one that I think has underperformed a little bit. You know, again, he's, you know, he was hit with the injury bug too, like a lot of this team. But if there's another player that can down the stretch become very important for this New Jersey Devils team, it's definitely him. 100%. And again, we brought up Jake Allen. He's just been on a magical run with this team lately. It wasn't that great against mm-hmm. the Senators. And then I'm thinking about it. Every time the Devils lose to the Senators and people get mad because they lost to the Senators, who are one of the worst teams in the NHL and have been for a few years now, it's always like the Devils got them at the worst time because the Senators are just mowing down all these teams. They're beating everyone. Uh, yeah. 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 And it's... That's the NHL, though. That's that's hockey. It's it's so hard to to build a uh, a team of just out and out superstars to roll over everybody, because anyone can be anyone on any given night. That's the parody of the league, and that's that's kind of why we love to watch the game and watch this league, because that possibility is there. Uh, unfortunately, we've been on the receiving end of a lot of those those parody losses this year, um, but. You know what? It's it, that's that's the league that we're in. Like even even the worst teams. I heard someone say earlier in the season when talking about I think San Jose. Even the worst teams in the league are still going to get twenty wins over the course of the season. At some point, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, no one goes zero and eighty two, or or zero eighty or zero seventy five and whatever it is seven. You know, no one does that. So it's it's completely possible. But that's also the game too. Like. You know, you, you, you play a game one night, the bounces go your way, you get a good tip here, a good, you know, uh, a post there, and you can beat anyone, really. So it's just, that's just the game. Sure is. Well, it, it's going to be a good one, I think, on the road tonight. Against oh, I the think Buffalo so, Sabres. Devils have played well on the road. It would be really nice. They have played Buffalo well this year. It would be nice to just mm-hmm. smoke them. Like, just go out there and beat the ever we don't swear on this podcast but beat uh-huh. the ever living you know what out of them snot. in this game like beat just uh, just snot. yeah just real real bag snot beating for the buffalo sabers yeah. tonight would just be wonderful like by the second period i would love to know that the devils are going to win this game that would be nice and and the devil stayed so if i remember correctly from the broadcast the other night the devil stayed in toronto after the toronto game and they were going to go bust down to Buffalo, I think, uh, either last night or during the day today. So a, a true road trip for them. Just stay out on the road. You know, I'm sure have a skate here or there somewhere in the Toronto area or the Buffalo area. You know, uh, you know, 
it probably wouldn't have been a bad idea for the team. I don't know if they did this, but to, to get that tour of the Hall of Fame while you're there, like, hey, check out the trophy you're looking to win. Not that they don't know what they're trying to win, but to, to, to put it in front of them and be like, hey, here it is. This is this is what you want. Like, like what more of a motivator with, you know, two and a half weeks left in the season or whatever, and the playoffs on the, uh, you know, a possibility at this point. But I, I like that idea that they, you know, made it a true road trip instead of coming home and going back up. Just just stay up in Toronto, like relax, get away from the noise of it all, and then go into the Buffalo game and maybe go home after tonight and, you know, hopefully with two more points tonight, which would be nice. And then go into next week with a back-to-back again on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and then see what happens from there. Yep, and it's a back-to-back that's obviously not going to be easy. You have the Penguins no. on Tuesday, which you beat them a couple times already. Yeah, nice, but you still mm-hmm. that's a dangerous team. They, you know who's on the other yeah. side. And then, oh, yeah. of course, the New York Rangers. They've lost four times no. since the All-Star break. Not even – no. I forget. They've lost only four times in, like, the last X amount of games. Um, it's been a really good run for Igor Shesterkin and the Rangers. And, you mm-hmm. know, you got to beat teams like that, though. You're not going anywhere if you can't beat some of these really good teams. Mm-hmm. So – it's unfortunate that the Rangers are one of them, but got to get through them, and that's going to be a big key to this story. All right, so I want everybody right now in the chat to go in, put your predictions, tell me what you think is going to happen in tonight's game between the New Jersey Devils and the Buffalo Sabres. I'm a little thirsty. Hmm. What could you have? Probably a beer of some sort. I'm having a beer, but it's not... It's not a red Shorts beer. Guy. Is it even five? Yeah, it's five. It's five fifty here. It's six fifty there. It's six fifty one. Well past beer, I mean, drink. well past yeah. beer drinking time. So, so listen, listen. I'm down the shore. It's, it's just like you going to Wisconsin. Just like yeah. when you're in Wisconsin, I'm sure. I'm sure. No matter what time of day it is in Wisconsin, it's beer o'clock. Yep, beer o'clock. When you come down the shore. It's always beer o'clock down the shore. So I've been, you know, okay. I've I've partaken in a, in a beverage or two. But Vinny, what should you have? Uh, what should you My have? My favorite you color is red. A... Okay. Yeah, I like. You red. should drink something with 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 green on the can. Okay. Green. <sighs> St. Patrick's Day's over, shorts guy. St. Patrick's Day is on t- every day. I'm St. on St. Patrick's Day Easter. every it's every day if you're Irish. <laughs> yeah, that's. Do I look Irish to you? No, no, no. But your 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 better half is is certainly quite Irish, quite um, Irish. <laughs> Correct. Uh, does the podcast have a beer you should have? Oh, the podcast. Is yeah. that a can on the screen? I think it's a can on the screen. What's the can on the screen? I can't read it. Can you can you read what's on that can? The can and Cooper. Join our crew today and drink Anchor Brew, where we make winning memories together, one crew at a time. And crew brew. Drink that red beer, shorts guy. Drink it. Drink it, drink oh, it, drink yeah. it. Love it, drink it. I can't wait to have yours that you can uh, crack one open on on the game day live. Hopefully. It's it's going to hit. Before we're done. Oh, yes. yes. It's going to hit like <laughs> beers never hit before. <laughs> I actually have one down here, but I'm uh, holding on to it to give to uh, one of the local bartenders down here just to because uh, we've talked about it. Just let him try it out. So that's my my one single one I have down here. It's 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 being given to someone else to try it out. I understand. Got to have more people trying it out. Um, that's mm-hmm. always the smart move. All right, shorts guy. What do you think is going to happen in tonight's game between the New Jersey Devils and the Buffalo Sabres? All right, so the Buffalo Sabres are actually sort of a, a, a bit of a dangerous team because they're they're about two years behind our New Jersey Devils as far as development and becoming a you know a perennial winner of which they used to be uh, a little bit before your time, Vinny. Uh, but I'm sure you've seen the highlights. It used to be Brodor mm-hmm. and Hashik just battling yep. it out like those. As a young goalie growing up, those are those are two two of the goalies to watch them and, and Wa. And, and Richter a, as well. But Brodor and Hashik had some epic battles, including a 0-0 tie in which they both wanted to shut up puck, so they cut it in half. 
Uh, but this is a new Buffalo. They are currently sitting at 73 points where we have 76. Are they technically out? No. Are they fighting? Yes. And we also know what happens when the Devils play against teams that are a little less structured and below us in the standings. That being said, still going to push for our New Jersey Devils to win tonight's game. And I'm going to say the Devils uh, win by a score of 4-2. to two. And in the immortal words of Sam Wu, they're going to be snake bitten by Jake the Snake. And the Girl Scouts will all revolt in Buffalo looking for Sam Wu. <laughs> love that. Absolutely love that. Buffalo's dangerous. Tage Thompson's yep. one of the best. Um, they traded for Bowen Byram, who's a stud muffin defenseman. Keep an eye on good number four. Defenseman. Keep an eye on number four in Buffalo. Just watch him skate. Take off your devil's colored glasses for five minutes and just watch Bowen Byram. And you'll be, if you're a ho- mm-hmm. if you're like a hockey, mm-hmm. hockey nerd and you watch Bowen Byram skate, you're like, this is nice. He's a really He's a good, good skater. Uh, yeah, overall, just really good. And Rasmus Dahlin and Owen Power, two number one overall pick defensemen, been everything that the Sabres have asked them to be. Um, Owen Power and Luke Hughes, teammates at the University of Michigan two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, one was a number one pick, one was a number four pick, both amazing. Um, yeah, I, I think the world of this Buffalo team in terms of talent, they just always put it together too little too late. They're not going to make the playoffs this year, and it would just be nice for the Devils to go in there and pound them. I hope they win this game, and I'm going to pick my final score of 5-1 to one for the New Jersey Devils. Nice. A 5-1 nice. victory for the New Jersey Devils. Uh, Ted says 6-4. Um, JP says Devils 6-2. Um, mm-hmm. Joseph says 5 nothing Devils. Um, serve says three to two devils, Corbin, five to two devils, beach says four to three devils, Shane says three to two devils. Um, JP says beer 30. Yes. Uh, Steve Engel <laughs> yes. says four to three them. Um, Michael says he's five been, he's to been two picking devils. the other side though. Wow. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Mikey, yeah, keep doing Mikey, it. Mikey picking the Devils to win. Thank you, Mike. That's my teammate. Yep, Mike. he says five to two Devils. Timo gets a couple of goals. Love that. Um, Jacob says four nothing Devils. Mick Sports says four to three Devils. I like that. Mick Sports, um, like McDavid, but Mick Sports. Zach says mm-hmm. six to two Devils. Um, let's see. Do we have any more coming in? We have Robert says five to one Devils. Um, Steve Engel put his Sabres prediction in again. Like I would want, re- I didn't want to read it the first time. It makes you think I want to read it a second time. Yeah. Um, but you know, we are because you've been jinxing the other team more often than not. We yep. appreciate it. Um, the great Sam Wu says seven to two devils. So that just about does it for our show today. Shorts guy. Those were our predictions. Is there anything else you got to get off your chest before you head off to London? Two things. One, Robert Larson said 5-1 Devils. And uh, <clears throat> I got to say this, and, and this has been a conversation with the Hockey on Tap guys. and uh, Owen Power, his parents dropped the ball. And I'll tell you why. They had the opportunity to name their child after a Simpsons reference in calling him Max Power. And they did not do that. Owen Power should be named Max Power. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google Simpsons Max Power. Yeah, Owen Power's name should be Max Power. I'm sorry. That's I'm, I say it all the time to the Hockey on Tap guys. I say it now. Max Power. He's a damn good player. <laughs> His parents tweaked. I he know is. all about the Max Power reference. Um, former Chicago <laughs> Steel, Owen Power. So shout out okay, to the Chicago okay. Steel. Excited to see you know him go against Luke Hughes tonight. That's always a special matchup, I'm sure, for them. Um, but to I hope everybody he has watching a bad on, game. oh, I hope he's terrible tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to all the people in YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, wherever it is, you're watching the show. We are extremely thankful for you. This is a big one. Hopefully, the New Jersey Devils get a big win, and you could come in and listen to Devils After Dark with Scotty of SiriusXM and the great Sam Wu as they break down the game that was. Hopefully a New Jersey Devils victory. I'm Vinny Parisi for Shorts Guy. As always, let's go Devils. Devils.